My name is Pat Food. I farm with my son Dennis in Killone, Stradbally in County Leash. We run a 90 cow suckler herd and uh, we farm about 60 hectares of organic cereals, mixed cereals. We grow wheat, barley, oats and beans on the farm. We also grow uh, spring barley on the farm. Uh, that's grown for boort malt, water for distilleries. The farm here is it's a mixed farm. Uh, the suckler herd basically produces farmyard manure and nutrients for the cereal farm. In the grassland uh, uh, management end of things, we would also incorporate uh, red clover crops. And then obviously the red clover itself uh, is incorporating, as it's growing, it's incorporating a lot of nitrogen back into the ground. So I consider red clover a very important crop for organic farmers. Organic crops tend not to suffer from diseases as much as conventional because you're basically growing from nutrients that are uh, in the soil and uh, you're not using obviously artificial chemicals or fertilizers to, to, to promote the crop. So we have less problems with disease in organic crops. A lot of people would ask what are the markets for organic products. Uh, this field of oats is going to Flavins. Um, as I say, Boort Malt, Waterford Distillies are buying our malting barley. We would have a lot of other organic farmers that uh, would buy any excess cereals that we have. Let it be, you know, wheat, barley, oats and beans. Probably getting about twice the price, almost twice the price of conventional malting barley. Myself and Dennis are very pleased with our decision to go organic farming. The financial contributions are quite good. We're very happy with that. And uh, we see, you know, like all farming, there are particular problems. You're farming with the weather. But in general, we, we don't find anything that would, uh, you know, prevent or should prevent farmers from looking at the option of organics.